also remember the jealousy of Allah, the honor of Allah. Now I know this one's going to sound really, really weird to you all, but it's very important. Jealousy always ha has a negative connotation in the English language. It doesn't always have a negative connotation in the Arabic language. Al-ghira. Al-ghira. It's more of honor and dignity. Because jealousy means you accuse an innocent person in English, right? And those, if any of you take the behind the scenes class, I go into a long discussion about this. The ghira of Allah. The ghira of Allah. Sa'id ibn Ubadah radiallahu anhu one time, or maybe it was Sa'id ibn Mu'adh, I forgot which Sa'id it was, but he was telling the Sahaba, he said, if I ever caught my wife in the act of zina, I would kill her and I would kill the guy with the sharpest part of the sword. So the Sahaba came to the Prophet and they were like, this is a little too much, isn't it? And the Prophet said, أَتَعْجَبُونَ بِغِيرَةِ سَعِدْ Are you amazed? Are you impressed by the honor of Sa'id? And they said, Ya Rasulullah, it's too much. And he said, Wallahi, لَأَنَا أَغْيَرُ مِنْ I have more ghira than him. Wallahu أَغْيَرُ minni, And Allah has more ghira than me. You know how in all the Hollywood movies, you're always, you know, they always got the girl that's being chased that has the big scary father that keeps a gun. Or what was that movie, what was that movie called with, uh, I hated that movie. What was it, Meet the Parents, right? That was a little psychotic and overboard. I only watched the first one. But, uh, you know, that whole concept of the scary dad, the dad that's going to try to kill you, it, it, you know, it, it sort of creates the, the, the rabbit, you know, the rabbit hunter, it sort of creates that chase Right? That pursuit and guys like that, you know, running after the girl trying to get around the big scary father. Well, obviously, in college and in, in school when, or whenever you're alone, you start establishing these relationships. It's not in the presence of the father. Now, you act with more adab, you act with more dignity. You're a little bit more scared. Let's say if I told you, guys, specifically guys, that the girl that you're trying to mess with right now her dad owns 20 guns, and he's a former Marine, and he has a, formal, uh, he has a former conviction, or he killed somebody before. I don't care how pretty the girl is. You're going to watch yourself. You're going to be like, no, I'm okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Astaghfirullah. You will become, you'll be, you will look at your shoes, and you'll be like, oh, I didn't realize my shoes had some blue on them. All of a sudden, you're going to start lowering your gaze. You're going to be scared. Now, what is the Messenger of Allah وسلم, telling us? Rasulullah is saying, even if a woman has no man who has ghira of her, Allah has more ghira than any other man. And Allah doesn't just own 20 guns. Allah owns hellfire. So you better be careful. You're overstepping your bounds. Sisters, the same thing happens too because you know what happens with a really jealous dad? He kills you and he kills the guy. So you are offending Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whenever you, whenever you make yourself promiscuous or whenever you open yourself up to that relationship. Even if they don't have a man who's going to be a real man, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has more ghira than any man. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us. And that